I'm only doing this video for motivational purposes in anyway. Only for motivation purpose only. And um whew, I can't believe I'm doing this video. Um, the title of this video is that uh things I could not afford before forex. Like these are some of the things that I could not afford before forex. And it's crazy, guys, because um come to think of uh when I started forex trading and I really wanted to keep pushing when I went, I wanted to give up. I was looking for such content and I've always told God, if you take me to a place where I can be an inspiration to someone, may I not withhold, may I not keep it to myself. And I am aware that uh, these are the kind of the videos that people judge you wrongly, but for that one person who keeps watching me for motivation, inspiration, for their spirit to be elevated, this is the video for you. Things I could not afford before Forex. Oh my goodness. I don't know where I would start and I don't want to make this video long. So I hope I will be able, let me just take my phone. Let me just take my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to make this video long, so I have to time myself. And we discuss. So let me time myself. Okay. So at least I will know <laughs> I'm not wasting your time. So number one, the things that I started to afford when I started um Forex trading, and I will do, I will say afford then it stopped being a worry because there is the aspect of affording and still you're worried about that thing. So I will be saying this thing I started to afford and it reached a place where I'm no longer now worried. There's a difference, guys. Huh? There's a difference. So, oh my God, this is emotional. Like before Forex, food for me was a problem like to put food on the table for my family. I was not working, so my husband was working and we were really struggling, guys. I won't lie to you. We were really struggling uh, to a point where to just have a simple meal was a problem. And I remember that time I had my daughter and she was so young, she could not understand what was happening. And my daughter didn't grow having everything that I would want her to have. I remember when I used to cook dinner and I would save some, like part of the, like before I serve ourselves, I would just cook a little meal for her for tomorrow because I knew if I don't do that, this girl gonna go hungry. So I remember I used to save food for her. <laughs> oh my God. And I would put it in a, maybe a small bowl and then I and I put it aside so that tomorrow when I when I come and there's nothing to give her I can take that and and feed my child so for me food was a problem like breakfast it was a problem I remember we would uh we would cook pancakes a lot because maybe you have bought a flour and uh, there's nothing. You don't have money to buy the bread. So most breakfast, I would cook pancakes. And it's not like because it's pancake, it's a good pancake. It was just crazy. So when I come here and I tell you that Forex can change your life. So I was telling God that if you make me a profitable trader, I want... My first $100, I want to spend it on a supermarket. And um, God made it happen in 2020, the same year. I'm, I'm not lying. The same year when I started to do Forex and I made and I, I, I made that video, when I made that money, I went to the supermarket and there are three things that I had said I will always buy. Number one, <laughs> number one was I loved, I thought I loved bacon. But I just thought that people who buy bacon are rich. So I said, 
my shopping will always have bacon in it. And then I, because of not affording drinking chocolate, you know, the one that you put in your tea, I said, when I start making a lot of money, I will not even do the drinking chocolate. I will upgrade to Milo. By that time, just a can of Milo was almost $15. Remember, I was not even affording a dollar to buy a sachet. So I said, I will just get, I will be buying Milo. And the next thing I used to want to see my cat when I'm going to the supermarket was grapes. Hey, anyway, I came from affording now I'm not worried about anything and I get so much connected when I find someone they're not capable of putting food on the table like I like it becomes a burden so food for me food was a problem I remember that there was a time we had gone with my daughter and my husband and my daughter was telling me mommy I want water I want water and I knew to buy her water I needed to spend like five dollars and I didn't have the five dollars and we we were like we were making a queue I don't know if we had gone for I don't know what we were but we were on a queue and everyone around me was like why don't you just get her the water and it pained me because I didn't have the money. It's not like a tea. I'm not, I don't want to buy her the water. Oh, it's raining. I hope you won't hear the noise of the rain. So for me, affording food and not worrying about the food. And I can do someone's shopping of $100, $200, $300 and not worry about it. For me, I feel it's a plus and I need to give thanks to God because again, God is the one who has made me come this far. I have to give credit where it's due. God made me not go hungry for another day. Hey, and yeah, so to come to think like I could not afford food, it's it's crazy. And another thing is maintenance, like maintenance of either myself, making hairs, making nails, taking my, my children to the salon, um, buying new clothes, those things I could not afford. And you know, they are very, very important. Like I, I remember, I remember you are you are supposed to look somewhere when you're going to church and I could not afford <laughs> my clothes. You know, when you're breastfeeding, you can't wear clothes like this. When you're breastfeeding, you have to buy clothes for breastfeeding and I didn't have. So I opted to be wearing t-shirts and tights and I changed completely how I used to dress. So. I stopped caring what people will say and my clothes were tights, leggings, for those who don't know tights, what it means, leggings and t-shirts. So if you're watching me and you're in that position, imagine Forex can make you afford. So I'm that person who could not afford to wear designs or just a, a, a good outfit to a person where I can afford and even go to a next, I'm not worried of what my outfit look like or if i have an event i'll just go to a boutique and buy and that is the best feeling guys like i'm never limited how i want to look and i know this is what majority are in this place you want to look good but you don't have the money to look good and let me tell you there's hope there is hope there is hope i remember i had a wig I had bought this wig back in 2017 and I wore it for three years without changing it. And it was not of good quality. And I felt bad and I was telling God, can you make, can you change my life? I changed this wig. <laughs> and I remember when I started to change my wigs and I said, I want to go and buy to the best, best, best wig place. And I will do a video, by the way, um, hooking you up to the best place to get your wigs they are the best and they are so pricey so if you are a forex trader you can't it, it's not a problem because the money is in there in the market seven trillion dollars um another thing that I, I i feel i could not afford was credit i was the guy of please call me please call me the message i could not afford credit today i'm not even worried like i can put airtime on my phone a lot of money and I'm never worried, like I can go for months and I keep talking on my phone. That is something that I said I will never worry about again. How can I worry about credit years back and then now I'm worrying about credit? No. 
Another thing was travel. Like, I would follow these pages that they do travel and tours, and I would think, oh my God, where will I, when will I ever travel with my family? When, when, when will this be possible? When will this be possible? And guys, for me, I feel like affording to pay a, a tour guard, a tour company to just take you place to travel. For me, it's a plus because now it's not, when I don't travel is because I don't have, is because a lot is on my plate and I have to plan because of my schedule and my busy day. Eish, that sounds good. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like when you have so much time and you can travel all over the world, you don't have the money. But when you have the money and you can travel, now your schedule dictates. And that's where I am. But from next year, I will be traveling a lot. This year, it's me and God praying, fasting, consecration. But from next year, you will see for yourself. Another thing that I could not afford with me and my husband and was the choice of the house we used to live. We would live from a two bedroom, a one bedroom, two, two bedroom, being chased, being evicted, being chased because we could not afford the rent. And now guys, I'm in a seven bedroom house. Yes, a seven bedroom house. And I, uh, before you say I'm bragging, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just glorifying God. I'm just doing this video to glorify God because I was the same person who was ashamed being thrown away with my one year old. I was the same person where auctioneers used to come to my house when I was heavily pregnant and they could not care. And I was the same person who was homeless and he, and we were hosted by a friend. So, 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 so excuse me, excuse me if I brag with my God and what he has done for my life. Like just to understand that we can afford a seven bedroom house. Oh my goodness, that is huge. That is huge because I don't know, this is huge. In fact, this is something that I never thought. Uh, for me, I knew it will happen, but not this soon. Not this soon. I remember I was that person who could not afford fare. I could not afford transport even to go to church. Oh my God, that is that is painful. Like I could not afford transport to go to church like sunday would come and i don't have money to go to church and we don't go and i asked my husband do you have the money can we go to church and he said no the deal did not <laughs> uh, i did not succeed yesterday so there is no going to church and i was i was tired becoming a mercy case you know the way it's like everyone you're calling this person to give you money today, tomorrow. Like I was tired. So me and my problems, we lock ourselves in. And I'm the same person who I can afford to move out. I don't even think about fair again because God blessed me with a car. And I can be able to fuel that car. Oh my God, that is great. And I thank you, Jesus, for, for, even, for even giving me this opportunity to encourage someone. Like I was that person who, if someone comes to me with a problem, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because I have my own problems. You are telling me about your problems and I can't help you. And I, that is the best and worst place to be. But now when someone comes with a problem, I will look at them and say, it is possible. Imagine it is possible. Even if I don't know if it is possible, I am assured it is possible. And you have only two options I can show you. It's either I show you how I do it, how, like I will tell you, imagine I was, yesterday it was me in your situation. Imagine it is possible. Can you see my life? It is possible. So I have so much courage and I'm so confident when I tell people it is possible, and they can be able to make it. But five years ago, age, I would hide myself. I wouldn't even have the guts to even tell you it's possible because I was like, look at my life. What are you telling me? Me, I have my own problems. But I'm glad that anyone who approaches me and they have a problem, I always got a solution. It's not about the money. It's about the mindset. What I know and the work I've worked with God, I have a solution. Either I have a word for you, either I have a solution for you. 
either will help you with exactly what you want. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember that I was that person who, and I will, I think this is the last story I'm giving you. There's a time when we had gone to Pronto, Pronto Hotel. For those who are in Kenya, they know about Pronto Hotel. We had gone to Pronto Hotel and my husband wanted to take a, uh, the platter it's called a platter like rice uh chicken that platter it was costing 1200 shillings one ten dollars we had only then that money we had that money in our pocket and my husband was insisting let's just take a good meal and we call it a day and i was like but this ten dollars we can buy one two three like it's a whole shopping of our whole week why would we eat and then a whole week we suffer and we started to argue. We argued until we were not in good terms because of a meal. And I can understand when we started to do Forex, argument about which even hotel to go and what to eat ended completely, ended. Like when we enter into a hotel, we don't even look at the price of the, of the food. Waiter, uh, I want this and this and this. This was not possible. Like, first you check the menu, you check the price, you do your calculation. If I take this meal and, the, and then I add a drink, you take your calculator, you calculate the price, then you order. If it is beyond your budget, you let go of the drink and you eat the meal dry. But right now, I, I am thanking God. If you're watching this video, tell yourself, that there's a video that I have watched. And because I'm in this current situation, there are things that I will start to afford. You can only testify. You can only affirm it to yourself. I cannot do it to you. Imagine the only thing I can do, the, the only thing I can do is to come here, create such a video, give you motivation, give you the psych, tell you, don't be fooled by where we have come from. We have scars. There are scars. We have scars. They have healed, that's why you can't see it. But we can tell you where we came from. And this is not the end. This is not where we are. It's not the end. This is not our destination. We are on the journey, we are moving. So guys, um, like to just realize that God has really taken you afar, that what used to disturb you, it's no longer disturbing you. It's 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 just something to tell you that forex can change your life if you have watched this video and you have never done forex go and start forex if you're watching this video and you had given up on forex it's just to tell you everything that you're struggling right now you can put a full stop and it becomes your end of those struggles and you start a new journey and i know there will be testimonies not even this year Two years from now, three, four years, people who watched this video, they will come and tell me, you see that video you made about the things you could not afford? I was in that situation and I trusted God and God did exactly what he did for you because it's not like I'm special. In the eyes of God, we are all the same. Or the difference is what do you want from God? Ask and it shall be given. Knock the door and the door shall be open. Seek and you shall find. So I have done this video to tell you, like, you know the way you don't adjust a for You know, forex traders will never tell you their past life. They just want to paint a picture of how life is good. I'm driving good car. I'm traveling. But that is not me. I will tell you where I was. I will definitely tell you where I was because I can see clearly that this far I have come, it can only be God. I cannot tell you how many times I tried to look for a job and I could not get a job. I could not get a job. I had done 3D animation and multimedia in, in college. So nobody would have employed me with that kind of qualification because you can imagine 3D animation. So I was trying to look for a job being... I was looking at most to be paid $100 or $200. And I never found one. I never found one. Because God was hiding me not to, to, be, to get a job for me to realize who I am and what I carry and who I am. Now I have an office. I have an academy. 
I have team members. I have a whole company, a whole school. Oh my goodness. Do you know what that means? It is possible even for you. It is possible even for you. So possible. So possible. So if you have watched this video, you may have mixed reaction. Why is she doing that video? But there's someone who is so discouraged. You cannot be in the same level at the same time. People are in different levels. There's someone who just want to be told, wake up, take a shower, start again. Imagine this time you're making it. There's someone who just wants those words. And I am here to be the voice and the vessel of God. Because what will it profit me to be making all this money alone and not tell you it is possible that Forex can also change your life. When you understand that God is the source, Forex is a channel, and God wants me to create a bridge so that everything he has promised me to come to me. Eish, why would you not start believing that is possible? Why would you not believe it is possible? Because it is possible. It is. And for me, I've done this video because even right now, there are things that I cannot afford. <laughs> even as successful level that I am, I cannot afford to buy a jet, but one day I will buy a jet. I cannot afford to go to... You see these hotels that they charge $50,000 a night. No, no, I've not reached that area. Like, I've not reached that level. I cannot afford to, to buy a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Like, I'm not in that place already. So at the end of the day, even if you watch this video, even me, there's what I'm, I'm aspiring to get. There's a level I am aspiring to get even at this moment. I'm not in my own house. I want to build a 10 bedroom and, and leave this seven bedroom house. I want to build a 10 bedroom house where me and my family, my husband and I, that's our dream to build a 10 bedroom house. So that is not, that is something that we are still looking forward. So at the end of the day, everyone, they is where they are at. Even me, I'm on a journey. I've told you, I'm not yet at the destination. So there's a day I will do such a video. And first I will look back and say, oh, in that video, I was not in my own home. I would want to buy a second car. And this car, I want, I've always want a Range Rover for myself or an Alphard for my family because they're seven seat. I want those two cars. Alphard because of my family, Range Rover because of myself. And it's not a five-year goal. I'm talking of, I'm planning to get those two cars very soon. That is not dream car. That is an everyday use. And I'm planning to get to that level. So when, when I project and I see where I came from, I will say, oh, but then I wanted a Range Rover. Did I get it? So this should encourage you. So if you have a car and you're watching me, can we dream can you aspire to get the second car? If you have built it, can you aspire to have a flat where you can be a, 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 a landlord? Because it's it will always I'm 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 aspiring to travel all over the world to, to say, oh, I was from this country, I was from this country, I was from this country. That's my my goal. Anyway, guys, Forex can change your life. You can do such a video even you. You can record and say, by the way, I'm doing this video because these are the things I can't afford. But five years from now, I believe I will have everything that I have not affording. So I'm giving you a challenge. You don't need to post it. Nobody will ever know. But once you have those things, it becomes a testimony and you have the evidence. And you can now tell people, this is what I did. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening to me. We are on our way to hit 100,000 subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, you are 90, I think 91,000 subscribers. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscription box below. Put on your notification bell because I upload videos every day at 3 p.m. Kenyan time. Bye-bye.
Love you. See you in the next one.